Hello, good day, welcome to the pH Balance. We talk about natural health, movement, breath work, the flow of the spirit and all things natural. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe and the notifications bell. It'll let you know when I upload new content. Today, I wanted to talk about the feet and how important they are. <clears throat> But more importantly than that, is to share with you how you can improve your movement quality. Now, if movement is one of your passions, or if you're some kind of a dancer, or martial artist, um, a boxer, um, a swimmer even, if you're into CrossFit, if you're into any kind of athletic sport, football, rugby, um, anything climbing related, then your feet are so important and valuable to you. And here's why. I'm literally just gonna give you one reason why. 70% of our proprioceptive system, how much we can feel our bodies and sense things, comes from our feet. The entire feedback system of our whole bodies is comprised pretty much of the eyes, the ears, and the feet. 70% of that comes from our feet. So it's really important that we're not masking those beautiful sensations that we get the feedback we get from the floor with shoes, with thick soled shoes or squashing our toes or anything like that. We want thin, flexible soled shoes, wide toes and an ability to feel everything underneath us. So what I really wanted to give you today was <clears throat> a bit of an exercise, more of a fun, playful thing, not, not like an exercise. If you feel like you've got feet which are, the toes aren't, aren't, aren't separated, that your toes are kind of together, then this is gonna be really useful for you to, to widen that, those toes and create more stability, strength, sensitivity, which is the important part. What I want you to do is find some sticks or a pencil or um, a pen or something, and you're just gonna pick I'll show you in a minute. You're just gonna pick it up with your toes and then drop it. Pick it up, throw it, pick it up, take it out of your feet, put it back into your feet. You're just gonna play around with this so that you can really start to build this strength back in your feet so all of the muscles in your calves and your shins are gonna be working. So I'm gonna show you now. Maybe you even want to sit down and pass it from one foot to the other foot. It's not always gonna work and you're gonna get it wrong, but the point is that you have fun with this because having fun takes away from the, I must get this right. There's no right or wrong. It is just exploration. It is just building some, some sensitivity back into your feet. And I wanna leave you with one other tip. Just be barefoot as much as you possibly can. This is gonna rewild your feet, meaning that you're going to become more and more natural. We were not born with shoes. Shoes are only there to protect us from cuts and from very rough terrain and thorns and things like that. They're not really for sports. Um, no matter who, what, I don't care what doctor, what shoe guru talks about, we are not meant to wear shoes. We're meant to be wild and free and barefoot. So this is, I guarantee you, this is going to, over time, increase your movement quality. You're gonna become a powerhouse of movement because you're increasing all that lovely sensitivity, which means the feedback coming through your feet into your body, to your brain, literally connected. Look up le reflexology. It shows you in reflexology there are points in our big toe connecting to our pineal gland. So what other connections are there in our body? I don't know them all, but if you're interested, go look them up. Let me know in the comments. And if you feel like you've got some feet that are less than ideal right now, or you've got pain and you're suffering with your feet, then please get in contact. I'm a 
certified Vivo Barefoot Movement Coach. I can help you rewild your feet and get you on path again. And if you're an athlete or a movement artist specialist wanting to improve their movement quality, please get in touch. I can help you, let's figure it out. I wanna help us all move more naturally and wild. Stay grateful, love your feet. I've got two boys. One of them really loves to wear shoes and socks. They're barefoot shoes, but he loves to wear socks. He even wears them in bed. The other one hates wearing socks, hates wearing shoes, even when we're out. And I wanted to show you his feet, to show you how natural kids' feet are uh, and what feet should look like. <laughs> Been doing it since he was born. That kid runs on concrete, woodland trails, um, overgrown thistle grass, anywhere. His feet are tough, his feet are open. You get what I'm trying to say. It is really important for us to start rewilding our feet. So much love with your journey.